start up the recording and uh, give us a little lead in and get it going. All right, man, go for it. This is DJ Shredder, and you're listening to MetalAssaultRadio.com. And joined with me on the eve of the fifth annual Thrasho de Mayo, uh, Fuel by Fire, who will be playing tomorrow. And uh, what's up, guys? Why don't you introduce yourselves to everybody? Hi, I'm Rick. This is Carlos, drummer, Chris, the guitar, and Anthony's on bass. He's not here right now. <laughs> we are by fire. <laughs> you guys are uh, you guys are doing a rehearsal tonight, getting gearing up for the show tomorrow. Yeah, we got rehearsal. Uh, the guys from Dread, and they're also playing. They're they're hanging out right now. I got to drop them off at their hotel. But uh, yeah, we're as soon as we're done with that. Yeah, we're gonna jam out and get uh, get our get our set done for tomorrow. So, uh, so we can tear it up. Yeah, and so, I mean, Evil Dead's the headliner, so I'll just uh, ask you guys uh, how's it feel to be able to share the stage. I know you guys have played with, uh, you know, I know Jerry Garcia's played with you guys before. Uh, Jerry Garcia. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, Jerry, he's a goner, dude. <laughs> Uh, Paul one, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what's it, what's it gonna be like? Uh, how excited are you for the show tomorrow? Well, I mean, we've all been Evil Dead fans for a while. Um, we did on the second Thrash of the Mile. We did a we did a cover of Annihilation of Civilization with Juan on stage, and our, I think it was the third one, and it it was sick, man. I mean, ever since then, I know he wanted to do some Evil Dead stuff, and we told him, you know, try and bring it back, and. Uh, Next thing we know, we see them. We see them getting trying trying to get at it to keep it true, and we talked to him about it. And then I guess they couldn't do it, but uh, we talked to him, and he just said, "Yeah, he's gonna bring back Evil Dead for Thrasho, and he hasn't played, so they're gonna do some sick shit tomorrow." Yeah, this is how fucking crazy it's gonna be. Last time when we did that cover with him at the Vending Factory, there's a two levels, and I saw some kid right when we start the song jump from the fucking balcony to the floor. And I'm like, imagine if the actual band is going to be tomorrow. So that's going to be fucking outrageous. And the thing is, it's just, it's going to be, it's already pretty much, all pre-sale tickets are gone. All their, everybody, they have to get them from the internet or or the door. And it's just going to, it's just going to get sold out for sure. Oh yeah, you're going to have 700 plus. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing that sucks is it's a little smaller venue. But then it just it's just gonna make it even more packed and more crazier than 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 ever, you know. So, I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. But you know, Evil Dead's gonna be there, to tear it up. All the bands are gonna be there, to tear it up, and it's just gonna be sick, man. Awesome. So, what what's let's uh, since fuel uh, since uh, spreading the disease came out, um, spreading Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place tonight. <laughs> okay, man, <you're> right. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that blackberry kush, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Since spreading the fire, uh, you know the numerous uh, lineup changes and everything, and now you're getting ready to put out your next full length. Why don't you bring up the speed? Uh, what has transpired with the band since then? Well, you know, Gio left uh, a couple tryouts. We found Chris. Chris tore it up as soon as we as soon as we got him. And uh, we told him how we were going to start um, moving uh, musically, doing, doing, doing for the next album. We're going to go a little faster, heavier, more evil. And Chris was all for it. He came up with some cool shit, and, and we just, you know, we just clicked, you know, clicked right away. And uh, you know, it's just been working good since then. We, you know, we got the whole album done. You know, we're still working on new material for, you know, for our third. You know, we're throwing stuff away, keeping stuff, and it's just it's. But musically, it's great. We're all cool. We're all friends. We all get along. I mean, you know, with Gio, there was a lot of drama. There hasn't been no drama on this, like, with this lineup at all, man. It's it's, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Yeah, and uh, the name of the album is uh, Plunging Into Darkness. I've only heard the one the, the one track he got up on the MySpace, uh, I, I Have the Demon. Uh, but definitely see, I think Plunging Into Darkness is a, is a great title. I mean, just go by that one track I've heard. It seems like you definitely are you know <laughs> getting in there digging deeper and heavier and and darker <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we thought we thought about it and you know it was a good it was a good album title 
because obviously from spread the fire, you listen to spread the fire, and then you listen to pl- and plunge into the darkness when it, you know, when, obviously when it comes out, or you hear the song, it's a, it's it's different. It's a lot darker. It just says, you know, hey, we're going we're we're going into a more darker, heavier heavier uh, style. So I mean, it it, it fits everything. The, the whole name, the whole album, the al- the album cover. You're gonna be when it once it once we put it out there, it's it's it's, it's some sick shit, man. Yeah, this album is yet to be out, but um. We'll announce soon the date out, and maybe hopefully we'll get back on the radio with you. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, it, it, is it, it how how close is it to being pressed and released? It's it's really close. We just got our our finished artwork. Um, we're dealing with some some label stuff right now. Uh, we're you know we're going through negotiations uh, with Metal Blade Europe right now, and uh, you know we're we're going to see how it goes from there. Uh, I think for the U.S. We're gonna we're probably gonna release it on our own. So I mean, as it's, it's, it's soon as we as soon as we get the okay to just put it out on our own, you know, press it, it's gonna be out there as soon as possible. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we're planning on you know releasing it within by the end of this month, early next month, hopefully. Awesome, awesome. Uh, you you got to play last weekend. You did a couple shows out in Arizona and New Mexico. You did the Thrash Again with Exciter and Premunition came out with you, and uh, Big Sacrificer was on that. How was that? Uh, the the Thrash Again show was amazing, man. We we did it last year. It was great. We did it this year. It was even more fucking crazy, dude. It was it just it was sick. There was a lot of kids. A lot of kids are you know they're hungry for it out there. You know, dreads from out there, and uh, they really brought that seed and scene up really really well. And uh, so when I saw them play, they were just tearing it up. And uh, fuck, man, when we went up there, all the fucking kids were just going crazy. I know dread got. Dread and us were the only ones that got stage divers the whole night <laughs> out of all the bands. I mean, even even for Exciter, dude. Exciter, they were good, but they didn't they didn't get the crowds like us and Dread, dude. Awesome. But, uh, it was it was sick. That show was sick. Arizona fucking blew. Yeah, I heard I heard uh, you ran into some difficulties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we, everybody was out there having having a good time in the parking lot. We got there early as fuck. We got there at three in the afternoon. We weren't playing till midnight. So what is what better to do? You know, everybody's out there drinking. You know, passing time, and the owner comes out getting all butt hurt, saying we should be supporting the bar and all kinds of bullshit. And we're like, hey man, you know, you're, we're supposed to we're supposed to be playing for you. You know, you everywhere else we go, they either give us drink tickets or they give us free beer or at least something. He's like, nah, you got to support the bar. We're like, man, well fuck you then. So we went up there. He cut our set short. Started kicking us out and. It, that that show fucking blew anyway, man. It's, it's <laughs> Just tough. another reason uh, Arizona sucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and one day we went down to New Mexico, and, and and it was a sick show, man. Right. On. So do you guys got do you got anything lined up after uh, Thrash Show tomorrow as far as uh, live shows and stuff? Uh, live shows out here in L.A. or anything right now? No, we don't. But uh. We do have a, a European tour coming up with uh, with Violator, uh, and and uh, after that, oh Violator from Brazil. Yeah, uh, yeah. A European tour in uh, in July, early July, and uh, UK European, and then uh, after after that, straight straight from Europe, we're going to uh, South America to do a festival and do a few dates out there. Oh wow, uh, that should be crazy. <laughs> Uh, we don't have the name for the festival yet, but we do know who's playing. It's a uh, Possessed, Agent Steel, uh, Crisian, us, um, and a few other bands. Fuck man. So it, it yeah, be, yeah, oh yeah, and then you got you'll have uh, Jerry Garcia playing with Agent Steel again. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Garcia, yeah man. <laughs> but that festival is going to be in, in Lima, Peru, and uh, he's uh, booking agents, uh, getting us some more dates for Argentina, Brazil, Chile. And uh, you know, can't wait to go out, go out to fucking South America, man. They yeah, they know, they know how to they they bring it. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. So I mean, but we're we're really excited to do Thrasher tomorrow, and then we're really excited to hit Europe with with, uh, with Violator, man. We're 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 all big Violator fans. We're all cool. We keep in touch, you know. So it, it should be sick. Right on. And uh, so where where can everyone uh, access you, uh, your MySpace, and all that jazz? It's uh, www. Uh, dot 
my, our myspace.com slash fueled by fire. And uh, just check us out on there for upcoming dates, whatever we got. Hear our music up there. And uh, check out some other cool shit on there. Updates on the album also. Yeah, Make yeah. sure you check it for the updates on the album. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys, for taking a few minutes out. And uh, best of luck to you tomorrow at Thrasho. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the interview. And uh, whoever's listening, thanks for listening. And uh hope you guys are supporting us out there. And uh, the album should be out soon, man. So check it out. Awesome. Fuel, DJ Shredder and Fuel by Fire on MetalAssaultRadio.com. Ow! <laughs>